So, I was just at the playground here, recording a film, a video, minding all my own business. I was getting to the greatest point in my video, and then all of a sudden this woman, she comes out of nowhere. I'm calling 311! He's gonna give you an $800 fine! I'd be worried if I were you! So I took my stuff, calmly went over to her, and I said, Hey, what is this all about? I'm just like, don't you know? The virus, you're gonna contaminate people. And I'm just like, really? What kind of contamination is that? And like, don't you watch the news? Like, what's going on? Like, no, I actually don't watch the news and I'm actually healthy. <laughs> so, and it's like, yeah, I was like, I don't believe in viruses. I don't believe in, in all these diseases because that's not part of my reality. That's not part of my reality. And then they just walked away. So when you have situations like this, people come to you very uninformed. They're infected themselves. They're infected themselves. You've got to share. Be like, hey, this is not my reality. This isn't existing in my reality. It's not truly true. And it may be true for others, but it's not the truth. It's not the ultimate truth. And there is another way. You don't have to accept this sickness, this disease. It's like you, you go to a restaurant and then you order something and you get disease and sickness on your plate. Well, mostly everybody's ordering that anyways. But you can take it back and be like, nah, I'm not having that anymore. Once you recognize that, once you fucking recognize that shit, it's shit. You don't eat shit anymore. You don't take shit. You don't put shit anywhere in your mind, in your body, in your soul. And you view it from a holistic perspective that this is a scam, that this is a fairy tale. Actually, it's not a fairy tale. It's a, a magician playing a, a, a great trip on all of us, being like, hey, look over here. Oh, look over here. And then the, 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 what's really happening is over here. And he's just like, oh, this is, this is what's really happening. And it's not really that great of a trick. It's not that really great of a trick. It was before, it was before, but it's not good of a trick anymore. And that this is not the truth. So, if someone says to you, Hey, the virus, the virus, but people are sick. People are getting sick. People are dying out there. Really, really, people are dying out there. They are. They are people dying out there. Because they, they are acidic. Because they are in that vibration. So you'd be like, okay, yes, there are people dying. But guess what? They don't have, there doesn't, it doesn't have to be that way. So let me, let me tell you one way that I know that we can avoid all of this. So we can transcend, we can, uh, we can move past this and progress forward. So will you take that path with me? Will you take the light path? Will you take the light path? You take out your hand, you just be like, hey, here's my hand. I want to save you. I want to rescue you along with everybody else because I see a reflection in you and reflection in you and I want everyone to be thriving. But you take out your hand, you'd be like, hey, I want to help you. And then they're just like, no, I don't want to be helped. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Do, do your thing, do your thing. And don't, don't emotionally, don't emotionally react to that. Because if you do, you get, you get caught up in that. You get caught up in that vibration. No matter if they're family, friends, or your soulmate, whoever it is, you be like, okay, because... And you accept that, you accept that, you accept that. And then there's no, there's no emotional drainage happening there. There's none of that. And you just, you just be centered, you just be centered, you just be centered. You stay focused, you stay fucking focused, you stay in your fucking lane, and you be like, okay, there are people who want help out there. Okay, then I'll help them, I'll help them, no worries. I got, I got better things to do with my time. And you move on. And then, maybe... A couple months later, a couple weeks later, a couple years later, that seed that you planted in their mind will come back and will grow a beautiful tree. A beautiful tree. A beautiful tree. A beautiful tree. And they'll start to flourish. So we can offer our encouragement, we can offer a help, but you know, don't be emotionally attached to these things. Because you'll end up draining yourselves and you will end up being in a state of discomfort of, well, not discomfort, more of, of decay. 
in, in destruction, self-destruction. These emotions aren't very loving and they start deteriorating your body, your mind, your soul. So stay centered, stay in your lane, love yourself, love others, accept others, love others unconditionally, show them the way. If they don't take the way right away, that's okay. Just take it one step at a time every single day, every single moment, and everything will be fine. Trust, 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 trust. <sighs> Love you all. Peace.